To the creative classroom. My name is Sam and I am Loz. Today we're going to learn about fire trucks. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be off to a fire museum to see some old fire trucks. We'll take a ride on a real fire truck. We'll draw a fire truck and sing some songs about fire trucks too. trucks are housed in fire stations. Fire stations are where firemen and women wait for the alarm bell to ring to let them know that there is a fire. They slide down the fire pole and put on their fire suits, their helmets, and their big boots and climb into the fire truck. The suit, helmet and boots protect them from the fire. Firefighters are brave men and women. They use their big hose to spray water from the fire truck into the fire to put it out. Fire trucks and firefighters are very important to all of us. Do you know what this is called? Yes. This is a fire truck, but it looks like it's lost all of its color. Can you help me color the fire truck? Fire trucks are red. Which of these colors is red? Yes, this is red. Let's color the fire truck red. Wow. That 
looks great! Well done! Today, we're going to read a book called Freddy the Brave Fire Truck. Once upon a time, there lived a big, brave and bright red fire truck named Freddy. Freddy was no ordinary fire truck. He was a hero, loved by all the people, especially the firefighters who worked at the fire station. From his headlights to his wheels, Freddy was always shining and ready to save the day. Whenever the alarm bell rang at the fire station, Freddy would come to life, his siren wailing loudly as he rushed to the rescue. Everyone in the town knew that Freddy was on his way to help and they felt safe knowing he was there. Freddy had a big hose on top of him that could spray water like a waterfall. He could shoot water high into the sky to put out the biggest flames and bring smiles to the faces of the people in his town. But Freddy wasn't just a firefighter, he was also a friend to all the children in the town. Every weekend, Freddy would visit the local park and invite kids to climb on his shiny back. He loved seeing their happy faces as they pretended to be brave firefighters too. One sunny afternoon, a massive fire broke out in the forest on the outskirts of town. The flames were big and dark smoke filled the sky. The firefighters at the fire station knew they needed Freddy's help. As soon as the alarm bell rang, Freddy sprang into action. He roared to life and his wheels spun eagerly as he sped towards the blazing forest. Freddy and the firefighters together fought the fire with all their might. It was tough, but they never gave up and eventually, together, they put out all the flames. The forest was safe once more, thanks to Freddy and the firefighters' bravery and teamwork. The townspeople cheered for Freddy, and he felt proud to have saved the day. And so Freddy the fire truck continued to be a beloved hero in town, always ready to answer the call and lend a helping hose. He taught everyone the value of courage, teamwork and the importance of being there for one another, just like a true hero should be. Wow, what a brave fire truck Freddy was. That was a great story.
black, red, gray, blue. Peach, pink, orange, green, pink. This is a fire truck. The kids went on a field trip to the Museum of Fire. <laughs> Inside the Museum of Fire, we saw lots of fire trucks. Old fire trucks, fire trucks drawn by horses, even fire truck snowmobiles. There were also some fire truck simulators that the kids could get inside and pretend to drive just like a real fire truck. We played on computers and coloured in pictures of fire trucks and firefighters. The kids saw all the uniforms of firefighters and all the equipment that firefighters use. The highlight of the trip was riding in a real fire truck. We even got to zip around with the siren going. The kids loved their day out at the Museum of Fire. It's been great learning all about fire trucks today with you. We've also learned about fire stations and firefighters too. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe.